Thank you. Good evening, members of our city bar. Thank you for joining in our first virtual annual meeting. Thank you for participating in yet another Zoom event. I am Joseph Drayton, a law firm partner at Cooley LLP and the outgoing chair of the executive committee of the city bar. I have been a member of the city bar for over 20 years and thank you for the privilege to serve on a committee which represents the best among us. I thank President Maldonado, Executive Director Parker, our committee, the staff, and you, our members, for the great work of the association over the course of the year while facing unprecedented challenges. As you have come to expect, your executive committee has had a busy year, and I am pleased to share with you an overview of the work of the executive committee. As an executive committee, we have reviewed and extended the terms of eight special committees and councils. We have approved renaming the Enhanced Diversity in the Profession Committee to the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and the renaming of the Military and Justice Committee to Military and Veteran Affairs Committee. The Executive Committee nominated a slate of 10 members to run for five positions on the 2021 Nominating Committee. In May 1951, the Executive Committee resolved that the Association establish an award to be designated as the Award of the Association of the Bar of the City of New York to be presented from time to time to a member of the New York Bar who has made exceptional contributions to the honor and standing of the Bar in our community. This year, we awarded the Association Medal to Mary Jo White and Zachary Carter. The award ceremony was scheduled to take place in March of this year, but was canceled due to the current crisis. We hope to celebrate these legal stalwarts in the fall or as soon as practicable. The committee is charged with financial and administrative oversight, and I will share a sampling of our work. In this role, we reviewed and approved operating and capital budgets for fiscal year 2021 and continue to review and amend the budget as necessary. We were presented the annual report from the audit committee. We approved proposed amendments to the city bar bylaws and heard from members of the nonprofit organizations committee in a connection with our proposed amendments. In an effort to ensure stability at the city bar, we approved a resolution on borrowing to allow the city bar to navigate through these unprecedented times. We were in sync with the leadership voice of President Maldonado and shared perspectives. We reviewed, for example, a letter issued by the Task Force on the Rule of Law calling on Attorney General William Barr to recuse himself from the Department of Justice review of the Ukraine matter. We also reviewed the letter drafted by the Task Force on the Rule of Law to congressional leaders requesting a formal inquiry into a disturbing pattern of conduct by Attorney General Barr. We remain proud of the work of the City Bar and receive detailed reports of its important work. The Lawyers Assistance Program, Diversity and Inclusion, and Legal Referral Services Departments presented to our committee and continue to make us proud as members of the Bar. Again, it has been my privilege to serve as Chair of the Executive Committee this year I welcome the opportunity to serve with our incoming president, Sheila Boston, my big sister in the law. You, our members, are the heartbeat and force behind the great work and services of the association. We thank you for your membership and active participation in the association. President Maldonado. Thank you, Joseph. 